Okay, so I ran across a very interesting uh, story today, and it involves uh, using AI to create a viral um, Drake and The Weeknd collaboration. It's supposedly from the music to production to the voices, everything is... <clears throat> 100% AI. I have not listened to it yet, but full disclosure, I am not a huge Drake fan at all. I don't have anything against the guy. If you're into Drake, that's fine. You know, you do you. But, you know, for a guy like me, it, it seems like it's sort of geared towards little or younger girls, you know what I mean? Like I don't even know if I'm the right target audience. And I'm a big I'm a big hip hop rap fan. <clears throat> and uh I get why Drake's popular, but musically just not my cup of tea. That's fine. The weekend is a, is a somebody who's really fucked with my head for almost a decade now. Now let me hear hear me out. <clears throat> so one day I I used to listen to this radio station that was really fucked up. They would play like punk music and African music and like um, Bjork, you know, and shit like that. And it was my favorite radio station. I would listen to it. Constantly in the background of my life. And um, one day they were trying to give away tickets to this weekend concert. Now this was uh, 2013 to 2014, somewhere around there. So um, they kept coming on there. They were like, first caller gets these tickets, you know, and no one was calling. So I called them up and I got these tickets. They told me to pick them up at the at the box office. And I'm like, all right. So I had never heard of this guy. Keep in mind, this is like, this is like 10 years ago, okay? <clears throat> and, uh. I look him up, and it says he's a, uh, a YouTube singing sensation. They describe him as New Age Soul. And I thought, well, that sounds interesting. So, And he wasn't even signed to a label or anything, according to this bio I read at that time. And it was on the, it was, it was on the actual where you buy the tickets. So that was current information at the, at the time. And, uh, yeah, they said he was from Canada or whatever. And I was like, all right, well, <clears throat> let me look him up on YouTube. And he had some, like, homemade YouTube videos, and they sucked, in my opinion. They were very slow and droning. And he's running around Toronto or wherever he's from. And it's kind of weird, you know, like... I don't know, like, you ever seen, like, um, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it, you know, but it was just like, it was, it, like, he's in the hood or whatever, you know, like, you would expect to see in a, maybe a R&B, urban music, but... It was like a Canadian hood, you know what I mean, like neighborhood. So it was like it, had, it was like a Canadian sort of like whatever that kind of area is. So <clears throat> I was like, man, this is like weird. And I found out he was from Canada and all that, and I was like, I don't know if I want to see this like new age Canadian soul, like mm, whatever. But then I saw the the show was sold out, and then I. Went on StubHub and the show, the tickets were like going for fucking hundreds of dollars each, even at that time. And I was like, "Have you guys?" I was I was asking everyone, "Have you guys heard of the weekend?" And they're like, "No." 
who, who the fuck is that, you know? Who calls themselves the weekend? You know, like, I could, I could see maybe, like, you're the Saturday or the Sunday. Because that's a single day. But you're like a... You're like the singular embodiment of multiple days. The weekend. Okay. So I go, I go to this show. And it's not a place that holds about two to three thousand people. And it's sold out, right? And first of all, I thought I was at like a Justin Bieber concert. Everybody there was like... middle school or junior high age and uh, they had these like furry anime animals that were with the show because he was he was selling merchandise with these like furries animals on it like pink shirts with like furries and it would say the weekend, and it would have, like, it, to me, it looked like the, the bounty bear <laughs> or whatever. Like, if I, if I was a singer and I decided I was going to, like, co-op the bounty bear. So, anyway, this guy comes out, and I had seen him in the video, okay? He was fat, okay? And I'm... Nothing against fat people. I'm fat myself. You know, I'm not... It, it, it's not a knock against him. But he was easily 350 pounds. It, it, and I was there and I saw it with my own two eyes in real life. It was not... It was not some camera trick. He looked like... Dr. Dre from Yo! MTV Raps or maybe Big Boy from Outkast would be a better uh, comparison. And these girls were like just going nuts, going crazy. And he had like an 80s band. He had a, a guitarist. He had a drummer. And he had a, a keyboard guy. And they looked like they were from the 80s. The style of the band was like they were 1980s, uh, New Wave. And But I noticed they're playing, right? And clearly the drums are a drum machine, you know what I mean? Which could be coming off the keyboards or maybe they got some kind of electronic drum set. But I noticed no no instruments are plugged in at all. I mean, this is all an act. And I, I noticed the band is like all like really like model looking chicks, right? Like, so I'm like, okay, these are just models standing here. And I was watching him and he had like a cordless mic singing. And I'm not accusing him of lip syncing, but it did seem at times, you know, he would stop singing and, you know, it would it would keep going. <clears throat> so I I literally left like halfway through the show. I was like, this is bullshit, you know. This now I do like that song, The Hills, a lot. And but that's really the only weekend song. So just full disclosure. But uh, oh, by the way, the reason I brought up all that weekend fat stuff is because I look him up on Google now I even put weekend 2013 2014 2015 whatever it's all like current pictures where he's like thin now and I remember I saw him at that show and then like not that long after they his debut major label album rolled out and um, he looked like he does now so I'm thinking he had some kind of like sta stomach stapling surgery or something. So I, I tried to look it up and I can't find any fat pictures of the weekend. I can't find uh, a video of the weekend being fat anywhere. So now I'm thinking, did I, was this like another weekend that I went to see? And I think it's this weekend. 
Is there actually two weekends? Like maybe there was a guy who was weekend END, but this new guy is weekend with the ND. You see what I'm saying? But no, I'm almost 100% sure it was him. And I remember he had like a um, he had like an LED screen as the backdrop for his uh, stage. And it had all this Chinese writing all over it. And it had like a, a Chinese menu would be flashing. And I was like, oh, the weekends, you know, he, he needs some chow mein. You know, I, I'm pretty sure he's about to go fucking place an order. Because he kept eyeballing that Chinese menu. But <clears throat> anyway, to make a long story even longer... Um, this AI song came out. Everyone's talking about it. I'm scared of the AI technology. Uh, not... N Look, is AI going to come out here and kill us all? I don't know. You know, these people that made these 1980s... Horrible future movies, you know, with, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and shit. It's all very layman, you know what I mean? Like, they go... Okay, AI. Solve all of the world's problems. And it goes... Oh, I know how to solve the... The world's problems... Kill all the humans. Then no one has a problem anymore to worry about, you know? No. I don't think necessarily AI is going to be thinking like that. Like, you know, oh, I got to kill the humans to get rid of all their problems. That's a very, that's a very, uh, uh, that's something like a, a, a very low level IQ guy would come up with not a not a fucking AI you know what I mean no why would you why would you want to kill the people that are asking you to solve their problems that doesn't make sense to me it, it does make sense if you're a fucking moron but I digress So anyway, I'm not scared of it in that way. What I am scared of is uh, artistically. How is it going to do? I feel like <clears throat> it seems like you're going to be able to say, hey, make me a, a, a buddy movie where I go to Las Vegas for a, uh, for a convention. And it's a road trip. It's a comedy. And like... Within seconds, a whole movie will be made of you and your buddy going on these adventures. You know what I mean? How could you as a human artist compete with that? I guess being the artist post-AI will literally just being able to come up with cool ways to make the AI do cool shit or something. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I suppose if we're talking about artistic shit, it's going to have some kind of human input because humans will be buying it. So, I don't know. But my point is, when I heard about this Weekend Drake song, it kind of freaked me out a little bit because people were saying it's it's a it's a good song. It's not bad at all, but I'll be the judge of that. I'll be the judge of that. So let's let's take a listen here. I 
I mean, so far, I, I, I have no reason to believe that's not Drake. I wouldn't think Drake wrote this because he doesn't write his own songs, but I, it definitely seems like something Drake would pay to, for somebody to write for him. See, that's the weekend. That sounds like the weekend, man. But you can tell in the weekend's voice, former fat guy. You can fucking tell. There's, you can always tell that shit. All right, I've heard enough. Uh, <clears throat> this is pretty interesting. Now an artist could just hire someone to do a cool AI production, like a whole album. They could probably shit out hundreds of albums and you could like pick which one you like and then release it and you don't even have to do any work. That's fucked up. That's real fucked up. Be kind of cool if you're the artist, though. Like, what if... Um, one thing I heard about people were saying is that Drake and The Weeknd should actually sign off on this song and release it and, you know, make the money. But they didn't actually do anything. And really, whoever made it I don't know how involved they are in the, the the AI program that made it or whatever, but, you know, theoretically, if you have this program, it, it probably doesn't take much to make this either. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know what I think about that artistically, you know. Part of me is like, yeah, go ahead and release it. Get that money. It's floating around out there. People are listening to it. But the other part of me is that if you're a real artist, I think The Weeknd's a real artist probably. I mean, he really does seem like he's a, an actual artist. So, uh, But Drake, I know, doesn't write his own songs and was like a, a, a Canadian TV star and shit. So, teen... TV star at that. If I'm Drake, I'm signing off on it. I have no problems. Why not? But if I'm uh, The Weeknd, I might be like, well, do I have an artistic issue with this? And, you know, even if you do, it's kind of like when Metallica took on... Uh, LimeWire or, or Kazaa or whatever it was. And they ended up losing a lot of uh, fans uh, because they, you know, they wouldn't allow their music out there. They were suing fans uh, trying, who were downloading it and stuff like that. So it, it, it caused a big issue for them. In the same way, you can't, uh, you're not going to stop this right the only thing you can do is work with it so um i guess um from now on start to uh try to learn ai like you would learn an instrument so you can make uh, cool shit otherwise there's nothing you're going to do with your hands and your mind by yourself Unless you're Prince Rogers Nelson, there's nothing you're going to be able to do to stop it. <laughs>